Uh, I mean everything. Um, you know, going on year seven, not really getting the op. Um, now that I'm healthy, um, I know a lot about the game. I know how the business works. Um, I feel good. Uh, it's just, it's just uh, means a lot, man, that uh, someone else gave me a chance uh, to live out my dream and kind of prove myself right and everyone else wrong. How did your workout kind of come together? What was the timeline for you to get here? Um, I think they called Monday. And um, my agent called and said the Saints, the Saints gonna bring you in for a workout. It was me and a couple of guys that I I known and previous played with, um, but it was simple. Uh, nothing nothing that I've never done before, so um, it was good. Are you just kind of sitting around waiting for a phone call, or I mean, how's it kind of what are you kind of doing? Um, so after after the Niners let me go, um, went back home, uh, did a little training, and just yeah waited around for a call, but I just kept myself busy because I. Would have went crazy if I just sat around and did nothing. Kevin, how much of a crash course have you had so far? I mean, you were out there, you were able to get in some drills today. Yeah, uh, for the most part, it's pretty pretty similar uh, from the things that I've done. Um, I guess the hardest thing would be picking up the playbook in a shorter time. So it's gonna be a lot of extra meetings and a lot of extra work. When you look at the, the Saints as a whole, did you feel like this was the best opportunity, um, or were you kind of like looking for a team to give you that chance? Um, I was just looking for a team to give me a chance. Um, just being able to show my talent, uh, showing how I work, and whatever happens is out of my control. But as long as I control what, what I can do, um, the rest will take care of itself. So. I guess how, how frustrating has it been just not being able to live up to what you believe probably is your potential to leave? Uh, very frustrating. Um, just because I feel like I put the work in, I had the right mindset, and for whatever reason, it just doesn't plan out. Um, but can't hang my head. Um, sometimes I ask why, but I uh, just got to keep going. And until the time comes, uh, I'll go hard and do what I'm capable of. What got you through those tough times? And how did you get through it? Uh, I, would, I would say my family, um, praying, and uh, just continue to work and staying positive. And uh, every time I see myself on film and things like that, I know that it's, it's different. Um, but I just got to critique the little things and keep going, keep working. Uh, I think I don't think I would be able to live with myself if I just gave up and it, it would have been a lot of regrets. So um, just gonna keep keep rolling. What do you feel like you bring to this thing? What do you bring to this um, Speed, uh, big body, uh, knowledge of the game obviously. Um, it's been a lot of sitting and watching. Um, so I try to pick up on little things. But uh, it's my presence, I guess. Do you feel like opportunity and health have ever lined up for you? Or is it just no, a lot of for whatever reason, it never lined up. Um, and when I was healthy, opportunity just wasn't there. Um, but kind of not like looking back, trying not to look back too much and move forward. Because every time I, I look back and I think of why and the old stuff, it kind of it could bring me down. Like, man, I shouldn't be here. I should be here. My stats should be here. And, I just don't try to go in that bubble. With TJ Koshu, one year over there um, in, in Chicago, what, mm -hmm. what do you what do you like about him? And that was that a big influence. Oh, uh, CJ had a big influence. Uh, he he stays on me pretty hard, uh, especially in Chicago. Um, he was pushing me and never wanting me to settle, and just reminding me how people feel and, and look at me. Uh, if I have a good day and kind of feeling myself, he'll he'll calm me down. Um, Whereas so now is still on me. Um, day one, he's protect the ball, run, just the little things that a coach may let you slide slide on, CJ's all over it. So I appreciate that and, and it definitely makes me better. How nice is that though, that he is going to coach you, but it's a, it's a familiar face. It's good um, because it, it, it it's coming from a good place. Um, whereas too, if you have another coach, you may may not know, if, you know, if you like me, am I doing something wrong all the time? Whereas CJ, he's just he's just coaching hard and is going to make the games a lot easier. Did CJ ever tell you to get up the field? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all, the time, right? all the time, every time. So how much yeah. do you think, seriously? Um, how much do you think his being on the staff here has to do with your opportunity here? Um, I, I think I think it has has a lot to do with it. Maybe I would hope. Um, we never talked about that or anything like that, but um, I would assume CJ had. Some, something to do with that. Um, and I, I don't mean to 
prior about finances or anything, but you, when you're a first round draft pick, I'm, I'm curious about how your outlook has changed over the past few years um, in terms of regarding football. You know, because when you're a first round draft pick, often, often you get a really good contract, and maybe you can, if it's not working out early, you kind of have the resources to go pursue mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. But you haven't done that. Yeah. So how, how would you say your outlook about appreciating football? Is um, I don't, I don't, I never played this game for. Um, just money. It's just not. It's not just a money thing for me. If it was a money thing, I would have been. I would have been retired and quit and done other things that was able to make me a lot of income. But um, it's just something that I love to do. And like I said earlier, I don't think I would be able to live with myself knowing I have a lot of potential and just giving it up. Like I don't. I don't. I don't ever want to look back and say, "Man, I should have just tried one time." Man, I wish I would. have Put more work in, so um, I'm I'm going for it until they kick me out the league. Is it fair to say you feel like you feel like you have something to prove? It? Oh my gosh, yes. Um, I'm always gonna have something to prove. That's that's my why. Um, whether it's you know, getting better off the release, whether it's running full speed every time, whether it's attacking the ball, any any and everything, I'm going I'm going to critique myself really hard and just just get better and. Just remind myself of why why I'm doing this. Um, my career haven't planned out the way I I planned it to be, but uh, as a part of the journey, it's going to make the story a lot better. Do you feel it's not, not really meant to be a trick question, but just in general, do you feel lucky or unlucky? <laughs> um, it, it depends on what we're talking about. Um, in life, lucky. Um, in football career, uh, maybe not so lucky. Um, but. Every blessing is a blessing. So uh, there's a lot of people that played this game for 10 plus years that maybe does not have the financial blessing that I had. So um, I'll take the good, good and everything. But um, unlucky with injuries and an opportunity lining up. But I'm very lucky to still be in this league. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.